Welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of how to convert text to speech for an absolute beginner. This is a step by step tutorial. So, I'm first of all, what I'm going to do is I will click on this very button. Please enter text for me to read. And the object called SAPI actually asks you to enter some data in there. Supposing we enter as follows. And let's try that out now. Speech application programming interface. An API produced by Microsoft for speech recognition and speech synthesis. There. So what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Visual Studio. And we use Visual Basic to put one of these together. So let's do that now, guys. Hi, and welcome to Visual Basic tutorial for an absolute beginner. In this section, we're going to work on how to convert text to speech so let's start by clicking on create new project and let's give our project a name I'm just gonna call that SAPI okay and SAPI itself actually stands for speech application programming interface an API produced by Microsoft for speech recognition so that's the name of my project. So I'm gonna just make sure Visual Basic is selected, Windows Form application selected, and click on OK. Okay, our form is ready now. So I'm going to just stretch it that much, and I'm going to need three components on board: buttons, labels, and text box. And a text box. There we go. As for the text box. I'm going to click on this very rectangle there and we select multi line. The whole purpose of the multi line is just to make sure we are able to enter multiple data. Okay, now underneath here, I'm going to have this button here and right up there. So let's just change that to convert text to speech there. And let's increase the font size that would be our title you can call it heading whatever you like just make that maybe 30 no 48 that's fine and just position it right there now let's increase the font size of both the button and the text so we can make that about 16 that is a little bit pronounced yeah okay and here we just call this one sappy let's change the name of that pin it down first you see with that auto hide is it a pin it down btn sappy and the text content on it I'm you know enter uppercase in that and just call it sappy why the text box I will change the name of the text box to T X T sappy there we go and like I said earlier on sappy actually stands for speech application programming interface an API produced by Microsoft for speech recognition now what we want to do is to import SAPI itself. So the component we're using is just a label, text box, and the button. That's all we need. So let's double click on the button. Right up here, above the button, I'm going to declare a variable. Dim SAPI there whatever or any variable that is declared right underneath public class form one is known as global variable but supposing we decide to declare a variable right inside this button itself then that will be class as local variable now let's call sappy it says sappy equals create an object as you notice 
the the intelligence actually suggested what I was meant to select so I'm going to say sappy dot speech voice there and now I want sappy to read as follows let's say sappy dot speak And the content SAP is meant to read from is going to be inside txt sap dot text and that is all there is to it okay if I run the program now all right the system is ready so let's enter as follows and click on this button to read it out Welcome to Absolute Beginner's Text to Speech Tutorial. You hear that, guys? That's how easy it is for you to create text to speech within Visual Basic. Okay, something that we need to consider is supposing when we run the program, there is no data here. There, nothing is happening. So let's use an if statement. Okay, if statement is also known as conditional statements let's say if txt sappy dot text equals empty then what do we want our system to do I'm going to enter an if here anytime you write an if statement there must be an end if okay what do we want our system to do we want our system to actually tell us what to do so right here I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to use else if if there's something in there I want this to happen but this very one here I like it sappy to say something so in there I'm going to enter please enter text for me to read there so what I want happy to do is to say this out to the end user please enter text for me to read and at the same time we might as well enter sappy dot focus there we go so which means I want the cursor to be flashing in there but before I do anything I'm going to copy this as well sappy.focus so we want the cursor to be in inside this text box so let's double click on form to get the form load there we go now let me show you guys something majority or most of you must would have been noticing why do we have a green line here is because this was already run however the new lines of code has not been run as it i haven't tested it out that is why we have yellow here yellow lines and we also have yellow lines here okay so event form load will set the focus right inside the text box if I do not enter anything, this lines of code the if statement will first of all check if there's anything inside the text box. If there's nothing, this statement will be will follow. Else whatever I have on the text box will be read out. So let's run the program and see. Okay, right here as you can see there's nothing in here, so I'm going to click on the button. Please enter text for me to read. And let's click on Sappy. Speech application programming interface. An API produced by Microsoft for speech recognition and speech synthesis. And that's how you create your own text to speech converter. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye for now.